Today on Pop Up, we're talking about online viral campaigns and how effective they are in working. So today, I nominate Ed for the Ice Bucket Challenge. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I just uh, roll roll the video. Roll the video. Oh my God. I think that a lot of the time they're pretty useless. I think they're pretty stupid. <laughs> a lot of the messages behind it can get lost in crazy antics like the ice bucket challenge. They vanish in like a week or so. Only because I didn't think that they would raise any money. They are good if they are useful uh, for good purposes. I think things can go viral and for, for a, a good purpose very quickly. For example like the ALS challenge. Like the ALS campaign is good if they're donating money. As long as they're promoting um, people to donate. Like I don't see raising money for charity as a negative thing at all. I think they do if um, there's enough backing behind it and I think if there's um, money being donated. It'll all depend on what it is, what the cause is. I think they're probably, they're effective, especially the ALS one because heaps of celebrities are doing it now. It's good that they've got the celebrities involved because they're obviously like donating a lot of money. I think people just do it, just and nominate each other and then don't donate anything. If you're just pouring ice all over you and not donating, there's no point. I think most people on Facebook do it for the attention. <laughs> I think this is like one of the most successful campaigns that is used for a good purpose. Absolutely, yeah. I think there was a statistic saying that last year they raised a million dollars and this year it's like 40 million already in like one month so and that's awesome that's really good I didn't know that they did that so yeah that's good a lot of people don't realize that the um, the point of the campaign is just to reach people people be more aware about what ALS is and how devastating it is for those people who are affected by it. I saw a video the other day of a guy that's like just been diagnosed with it was I like, really thankful because it is especially with diseases like that like I hadn't heard of it before um, but it's good to know about it and stuff now now there's like this the rubble challenge and the rice challenge so it's a good way to bring awareness of things that people wouldn't often think about or want to know about whatever it is whether it be ALS or like the Coney thing whatever it is um, it spreads publicity towards it and publicity is priceless for companies I hope lots of people use it to actually raise awareness and help a good cause Um, I am going to nominate former pop-up cast member Gretel Hart to take the challenge. Yeah, Gretel, it's your turn. Yeah.